What better day to give you an update on my health and wellness journey than coming straight from the gym. I know it's not Wellness Wednesday, but I think an update is a little long overdue. And I picked up some friend mail on my way home, so could not wait to share it. This is actually what sparked me to come on, share my friend mail, and give an update on my health and wellness journey. I'm going to leave you all with a little clip of an updated version of me hitting the speed bag. Hope y'all enjoy it and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and show the friend mail first. Obviously, that takes um, priority. Let's go ahead and open it up. I have not opened it, so I don't know what Stephanie sent. And Stephanie, thank you so, so much. It's always a fun thing to pick up friend mail from the post office. It's pretty fun. Mail, period. Because we have been so relaxed with everything comes through emails and uh, text messages that we kind of have forgotten communication. Um, at least that's how I see it. We probably need to go back to snail mail. It had a lot more meaning. People's efforts and handwriting were on it, which I absolutely loved. And it's no more, it, or it is, but it's far and in between. So getting friend mail here lately is the biggest plus. I absolutely love it and I'm struggling here to open it but I will get it open here we go and it's just someone out there took the time to do something nice for you and that is how I see it I am going to say that I am one of the most highly procrastinators or high procrastinators or if that's even a word and I, I also am guilty of slacking off on friend mail and just writing to people. I think I'm going to start getting more into that. And I am still struggling. I cannot believe I am still struggling here. Here we go. Now it is cracking. I think. And I don't know. Maybe it's time to for us to start getting more connected by ways of friend mail, snail mail, however we want to call it, because that is just what it is. It is something to make someone else feel amazing, because I know I feel amazing every time that I get some kind of friend mail, and I do have it, and there are several things in here, and Mask Monday comes to mind already. So there is a card, and I'm going to start with the card. It's a really cute card. Thanks so much. So it's a thank you type of thing, and I can feel something in there. I'm holding on to it because she is known for putting confetti in here. It's not confetti, it's stickers. Amazing stickers. She always does. <laughs> Full of stickers. And it says, Mary, thank you so much for the awesome friend mail. You're so sweet. Had to send you a few masks, Stephanie. And these are really cute. I always save the stickers and the cards. So I do have a box full of cards. Love it. These are the stickers and dinosaur stickers. My grandson comes to mind with these. So there's that one. <laughs> that is cute. And of course, the sloth. There's the sloth, a little cow, 
this kind of reminds me my daughter when she was a teenager she used to always talk about having one cow <laughs> she was going to have a farm one cow is all she was going to have I think that is cute and one chicken and one duck it was going to be one of each um, not sure what she was thinking but she's still thinking of having a farm someday they're really cute stickers I love this one tea a cup of tea and <laughs> I have often been called a t-rex because my arms are short and I'm always having to use the barbecue tongs to reach things up high on the cabinets I like this one it says don't be sad Jesus loves you absolutely love it thank you Stephanie it says don't worry be happy another bee and then happy and that is amazing so these are amazing thank you Stephanie now let's go ahead and check out the masks because there will be several relaxing days coming up and we have a golden eye mask we have a white eye mask I have never tried these so definitely looking forward to that. Then we have a collagen premium mask pack. And these are by Kina. I think it says Kina. Then we have Real Essence Mask Honey by Beauty Skin. I love honey masks. They, they feel amazing. They really, really do. And then I have a Be Smooth Fox from the Crunch Shop. A fox mask. So, Stephanie, thank you so, so much. Greatly appreciate it. And let's go ahead and move on to an update. I know I'm a little behind on updating. Life happens, and it's been happening to me quite a bit lately. Um, I have gained two pounds in the past probably two weeks. Um, so I did gain two pounds. However, I did drop some sizes. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over what the trainer has me do which initially when I first started this journey with the trainer I felt like jelly the entire time until the next time uh, there were times when the following time because we did Mondays Tuesdays and Thursdays and I felt like jelly from Tuesday to Thursday it was just I couldn't move my arms I would try to lift my arms and they felt like they were going to fall off literally that just meant I had absolutely no kind of strength in my arms or legs at all. My legs felt the same way. Um, I'm up to doing without feeling like jelly anymore. So I'm doing three reps of, or three sets of 12 reps for each of the things that I'm going to mention. And crunches, we started doing those recently. I'm still struggling with getting the crunches up. I usually do my crunches standing up, but I think it does help, but it helps to tone not to actually strengthen. And he's teaching me how to strengthen them uh, by strengthening the back as well. So it's a combination of the two working together to strengthen the core, the core meaning the back and uh, the abs. Then I have the reverse crunches, which <laughs> those were intense. Uh, the back extensions, the uh, double-sided bends, the Russian twist. We kind of did that today and that was intense. It really was intense, but I think I have enough strength in my, um, my arms and my legs to be able to support all of the twists and moves that I'm having to do. All of this I'm doing with weights. So most of this is on the machines with weights. We do some of the free weights. Um, what I have been doing are the wall um, wall squats with the ball uh, because I still need that little bit of support to do the squats and like I said I felt like jelly <laughs> the first few weeks I'm up to where it's tolerable I can feel that the muscles have been working but I don't feel like jelly anymore I'm able to do them much much better I am doing the um, one-legged uh, crunches those are intense but I still use the support of the bands 
Um, I don't have too much to correct is what he said. So I'm not doing any foam rolling, but I am doing correctives for my inner thighs and my behind because I don't use the support of them to be able to execute some of the workout. But I'm, I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. Still getting the meals that I'm supposed to be getting. So like I said, not losing pounds, but definitely increasing the weights lately and that can attribute to it. But the inches are still coming off. Love that. And that is pretty much it on my update. I will give you all an update at a later time as well. Since the progress is not as quick as it was the first maybe month, um, I'm not coming back to you all too often because there's not too much to, to say. So the increase or the, not the increase, but the, the changes are coming at a much slower pace. Uh, you can still see it, but you can't really measure like uh, weight loss or inch loss. It's just going to be a process of being able to get there. And the way that I am feeling is amazing. I know I'm still stressed from work and I still lack some sleep lately, but loving the workouts because they do get me going for my day. That's pretty much it. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.